Concatenate is stupid and it's outdated. That's why it's got this because it's been completely superseded. I'm going to show you how to do stuff with the ampersand, with text join, with the text function, and just how to make things a lot more efficient. Whether you're looking to combine text in a row or combine them in a list, maybe only the unique values, maybe by condition, etc. My name is David Benham and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, etc. So check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Let's get started. The base case that I love is just using the ampersand. So I could do equals this one and that one. And then I can just drag it down. Note that this is kind of annoying. So I'm going to do fill without formatting to keep the thing at the bottom. Great. Note that if this is blank, then it's just going to show me like that. But I could also do it combined where I could say equals this one and speech marks in and and then choose this one. So the and symbol will join any cell to any other cell or any hard-coded string, hard-coded text that you've typed in. So London in Jack, probably should have done the other one, but you get the drift. Fill down, fill without formatting, perfect. And then I can also do it with the date. So if you just do it with the date, I'm gonna show you what goes wrong. So if I do this one and this one, then it's just going to convert it like that. So that's not what I want. I actually want to format this as a date. So you need to do a little bit more. So you need to do this one. And if you just want a space, ampersand, speech marks, space, speech marks, ampersand. And then if you want to convert this to a date, then ironically you have to use a function called text. And then you have this that you select and then comma, your format text is going to be speech marks, DD, MMM, YY. This is how I like doing it. And then it will give you like that three letters. If you just do two M's, then it will show it to you like that. But I prefer three that way if you're in US or whatever country you're in, everyone's gonna read that the same. Y, 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 Y would be 2015 and just one D would be just nine without zero nine. So however you wanna do it is fine. This is the same kind of number formats you get from this one in here if you do the custom code, but we're going to leave it there for now. Um, of course, you could also do ampersand text. If you wanna get like a percent, you could do this one, comma, and then always in speech marks, zero percent will do it. And then it will give you that number. Um, it is <laughs> 1576, so let's do and speech marks, dash speech marks, and again, like that, perfect. So this is the kind of thing that you can do with the text function. You can also do more elaborate stuff to get, for example, thousand separators. So the ampersand is very good if you wanna just add one thing to the next thing. But could you imagine if we only had plus and we didn't have a sum function and the only way to add numbers together would be to do this one, plus this one, plus this one. It would get so tedious so fast, wouldn't it? And that's why you have these other kind of written functions that allow us to do more. So the original one was called equals concatenate. And this one has this symbol, which means it's actually obsolete now. Because the issue with that is that it also needs the same. I actually can't just select a range like you can with a sum function. It will just give me it like that. To actually use it, you need to do equals concatenate. And then you need to do this one, comma, this one, comma, this one. So not very much better than the plus, plus, plus scenario that I showed you. And that's why we have much better functions right now. I'm going to go through. Microsoft superseded it in 2019 with this one, concat, which doesn't have that. And this one is very slightly better. It can take a range, but honestly, it's not much better because you can't do any separators or anything with it like that. So instead, what you want to do is use one that is um, equals array to text. I really like this one. This is Office 365 only for now. You can select it like that, close your brackets, and then you get it appearing there. Great. Now, if you want to deal with blanks, so for example, let's deal with this, then you can use another one, which is text join. I love text join. It gives you lots more flexibility. So I can say my delimiter, i.e. the separator is going to be space plus space, always in speech marks, comma, and then true. So it ignores empty. That's almost always what I do. And then comma, 
we're going to select this list, close the brackets, and then you would get it not showing that one. Now, if I was to delete more, it would just show me the ones that are listed with a plus in between, which is pretty clever. I really like that one. Uniques. So what about if we want this, but only the uniques? There you go. Adjusted that. So only the uniques. I'm going to do equals text join. And then I'm going to do a delimiter, which is say a comma like that. Just be careful with your commas because this comma is in the speech box, so it doesn't move to the next part of the equation. And then true, almost always do true. And then here we're going to select the data like that. What we're going to do is we're going to edit this and here we're going to write unique. Unique is a great function which allows you to return just a unique list. So for example, equals unique. This is only Office 365 or 2021. But now, then it will just give you that the unique values. So if you put them in the unique and ignore blanks, you're going to ignore the zero as well. So what about by category? If I want all the cities where Jack is, all the cities where Lisa is, equals text join, and then we're going to start off the same way. The first two are the same, but here we're going to write if this one equals two, this one we're going to press F4 to make that absolute, to put in those dollar signs, then return this. F4 again, otherwise return speech box, speech box, which is the empty string or no text value, close our brackets two times, and you get it like that. I really, really like this feature. I use it a lot. Now, what if you want to go a little bit further and also ignore the duplicates? For example, let's say that Lisa has burned twice like that. Well, you could do that and let us put Lisa up here. So burn and Geneva, but ignore the duplicates unlike this one. So what you can do is you can do equals text join Basically, just combine the two things. So, true, comma, and then we're going to do if this one, F4, is equal to this one, then return this one, F4, otherwise return quotations, quotations. Those are brackets for now, but if we want to get just the unique, we just write unique around the if formula, close our brackets there, and now we just get that one. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. My name is David Nyman. I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Ticket Workplace, then I'm covering my channel. So check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.